Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about 5 ways to get a bit more from your Fuji X100V. Let's talk about the built-in HDR features. If you go into the drive menu, you can see there is an HDR mode. In this mode, the camera will take three images at different exposures and combine them automatically into an HDR image. It will also apply any Fujifilm simulation you may have on top of that JPEG file. This is a great tool if you aren't using Photoshop or other tools and just relying on the simplicity of using this camera. Alternatively, you can also save a raw file HDR for tweaking as well later. I think it's a great tool to experiment with along with black and white. I really like the HDR plus photos where it makes the scene look less harsh and more minimalistic in terms of details. Now let's talk about the slow motion feature of this camera in video mode. I think this is one of the most underrated feature of this camera that almost no one is talking about. Now I have a Galaxy Note 9, an iPhone 12 and a GoPro Hero 8 and none of those devices have a sensor this large and that results in a more cinematic look, more depth of field and much less noise in your videos. It's a great camera to get some slow motion b-rolls, plus you can shoot all that in f-log. Now the next one is the ability to hold any buttons on your X100V to assign a certain function from the menu. You can always go to button customization under settings and assign them there but once you have assigned a different function then the default ones on a certain button you can always long press them and hold that button to assign it to a different function. As you can see I have changed the default for the AEL AFL button and when I long press them the menu will ask which function to assign. It is a very quick and dirty solution but it works. What surprised me is that you can assign the middle joystick, the quick menu Q button and also the display back button to a different function as well. All the buttons and the dials on the X100V is designed to be customizable exactly to your needs. In this way, you can make the camera truly feel like it's designed just for you. The Fuji X100V has some complex menu layout that gives me a hard time to get around. Luckily, you can customize everything you need into a little menu of your own. To customize it, simply go to the user settings and you will see my menu settings. Once you are in there, you can use the joystick to select which menu items you need from all the different menus. You can also come back to this menu later to remove or add items as you wish according to your different shooting preferences. Here is your my menu configured and ready to go. Now this last tip is a well known trick that came from the days of point and shoot cameras. Many Fujifilm cameras like the XA line has the flash on a spring which can be used to point it at the ceiling and bounce the flash. The Fuji X100V has a fixed forward facing flash much like the ones you find in early point and shoot cameras. To bounce it I use any white plastic card from my wallet and hold it in front of the flash and bounce it along with second card in high speed flash sync from the menus. The results are better than what I expected with the ability to control the power of the flash. This can really help in certain low light situations where boosting ISO may not be a wise option. I really hope you enjoyed the following tips and tricks and as a bonus clip here is what I found when I pointed my XA1 to shoot this video on the back of the X100V. The IR sensor creates a feedback loop when it hits the lens of the Fuji XA1 and thinks it's getting blocked. I think it was something funny. I would really appreciate if you have any suggestions about these videos. I would highly appreciate any advice for making these videos even better. Thank you for being here. If you like the content, please share and subscribe and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.